Hey, what's up everybody? Here once again with another tutorial on OBS on uh, how to get the um, the videos to show. I've been getting a lot of requests for people wondering how do I add the video into it and people that don't use necessarily have Mix Emergency that have Serato video. There's a way to do that as well. Uh, I'm going to show you that here quick and another part of it is is that I'm going to show you how to use um, your iPhones for uh, as a webcam. A lot of people don't realize that you can use that uh, uh, your iPhones as a webcam. Now uh, you can use multiple ones and, and all that, but people don't know that OBS does offer an app that allows you to do that. And uh, we have to download some drivers and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead through those steps. But right now we're just gonna get ready for it. Uh, what we need to do is uh, jump in Serato. I got a video playing right now. Turn on your Serato video. Um, have whatever settings you like to have normally. Um, usually that pop-up screen pops up. If it doesn't, just hit Serato video. And we're going to set this off to the side. Um, we're going to leave it down here in the corner. And then we're going to jump into uh, OBS. Uh, just delete some stuff here. Okay. So we're going to go in here. We're going to do a window, window capture. Hit OK. Look for Serato um, video output. And there it is. So you can just scale it to however you want. Get rid of that top bar. Just move this a little bit higher. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so all you have to do well, to get the layers correctly, just put it on the very bottom. And there you go. So that's one part of it. Um, uh, and that's will allow you to get the videos and all that streamed out as well. Um, and people have been asking me about the camera. Well, how do you get the camera to work? And um, I've been using Wirecast to do that. But um, I know there's an option with OBS. And I decided to spend the money. It's only um, 15, 16 bucks for the app on the App Store. And this will work only for iOS devices. Um, but the OBS and all that will work with uh, a window. Uh, Windows computer so if you have a Windows computer um, you're in luck because this will work for you as well I'm not sure if there's an Android app to the um, part of this but I know that OBS has kind of promoted it on their website for that so we're gonna have to download a couple drivers for that uh, for it to work so we're gonna have to download this NDI uh, integration in uh, OBS and yes we're jumping into NDI. It's a big, big, big uh, uh, new open source software that a lot of people are jumping into. Um, so go ahead and download it. Um, install it into whatever system you're using. Like I said, it does work for both. You can use Mac or you can use Windows. Um, since I'm using a Mac, it's going to go ahead and uh, install on that. But I've already done that. Um, and next up, we're going to go into obs.camera. Literally, <laughs> that's the website. So you go there, um, download it on your phone, and then also go to this website because you're going to download um, the plugin for it. So if you want to do it through USB, yes, you can connect your iOS camera straight into OBS, but you need to download the driver for it. So download whatever version you're using because uh, I'm going to show you how to do it over the network. Or we're going to do it through straight into the um, hooking up straight to the computer via USB cable. Um, but I'm going to show you a few tricks after this to, to understand what's happening. Download and install those. Once you have all that installed, restart the computer just to make sure that everything's running up again. So basically what you're going to first do is you're going to connect your phone, your iPhone to your PC via the, the lightning connector. Once that's connected, iTunes should open up and it's going to prompt you with a message. Just go ahead and click on continue. Now iTunes is going to display a message stating to allow access, please respond on your iPhone. So go ahead on your iPhone, make sure that you click on trust this computer or trust, I believe it is. Um, and make sure that you have uh, OBS running. Now, if you do see this NDI output setting here, that means you installed it correctly. Um, and we're going to jump into the phone now and show you how that works. 
let's see I'm gonna start the screen recording so you guys can see what I'm doing here so jump into the app on your phone As you can see I have it turned on now uh, you, what you want to do is go into settings and you want to change the output to USB make sure that's hooked up you can change the resolution and all that to whatever you want the display to be I have it to the highest right now whatever bit rate you think is best they recommend the, the uh, 10,000 one um, so we're gonna click that goes back select that okay so we're waiting for this now we're gonna go back on the computer and we're gonna find that driver that we installed earlier you can see it's popping up there iOS camera you can name it to whatever you want have it there and there it is so if you're having issues just refresh device reconnect device and um, resize it or whatever you want to do um, I'm gonna resize it down just a bit now the quality is pretty good I how do you do recommend this one because it's it's very good it's like I said it's directly connected to the computer so I don't want to do it too far um, so there as you can see it looks pretty cool um, quality is very great um, there's no delay like I mean I'm like moving this uh, the quality it looks better than the webcam actually <laughs> um, so there's that uh, there's no delay I'm like moving this like as fast as I can and I don't really see a this delay there. Um, again, this is connected straightly into a USB. So I have it here, as you can see. I have this little hub just because I don't want to be connecting all these dongles to the computer. But um, I got the power. I got this USB-C to Ethernet. And here's the, the cable that's running to the camera. Um, can't really show you because it's connected to it. But um, So yeah, one of the cool things about this is that uh, you can do a lot of crazy things. Um, with it because you can put it anywhere you can do um, lots of different video streams and because you paid for the app uh, bought on the same account if you log in with the, another device you're able to download that one for free so now you have two we're going to show you a little trick here we're going to change this up to um, broadcast with separate cameras we're going to allow with a uh, uh, select NDI this time I'm gonna hit done now bear with me as I have to change it up here. We'll go add as NDI source. Hit OK. And the camera should pop up right there. So there it is. Once it's there, you select it, hit OK. And it should pop up. So now I have two cameras running at the same time. Uh, one's running directly into the software via USB cable, and the other one's running. Um, over the network uh, let me show you here so this is two separate cameras again this is a that one this is a little bit older quality is alright you know there's not that much of delay and then here's the other one let me show you the other one that's what that one looks like so pretty good overall um, you want to have separate cameras pointing you know to your gear whatever it is um, you can do that. Um, I'm just gonna close one just because it's too many stuff to hold on to it. Uh, so that's cool, right? Um, and <clears throat> if you want to capture, they say the audio or whatever it is. I've talked about it in my previous videos. You can do it through the rain, um, or you can just use a mic, have the audio input as a mic, um, and sort of hear it there. There's my my voice and microphone. Just mute it because I don't want to sound bad, but there it is. Um, so this is pretty cool features to have. Uh, if you don't have a webcam, don't have the money to go buy a webcam, um, use what you have, right? So I highly recommend this app, OBS Camera, because it does wonders. Like I said, connect it straight to that um, uh, USB cable. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you is because we're again we're running through NDI. So if you go to the NDI output settings, and if you select main output, right? If you do that, I'm gonna jump through it here on the phone here quick. I'm gonna go. And I like it because if you turn the phone sideways, it gives you a white screen. It automatically changing on the system for you. 
can make this bigger so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Once you see there. So again, we're connected over a network here, as you can see the network cable there. Now, we're running the NDI output from this computer, and what we're doing now, yes, this is a second laptop running wireless. You can see there, I only got the power. Um, and what we do here is we select another NDI source, which we did earlier, like that, add it, and then have it click on to whatever uh, yeah, I can pick up the other phone as well. Uh, you will select the MacBook that I'm running that output from. Hit OK. And that's literally what's running on the other computer. So what's cool about this is if you're running too much stuff in one computer, you can actually run it, uh, have it be a stream server on a different computer like this one. So this one is 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 literally <laughs> this is like the coolest thing ever because you don't have to stress the gpu or anything like that this allows for you to run <clears throat> everything pretty smooth uh with no issues um and, and yeah so it works perfect quality is pretty good it just depends on how you set it up uh on the output settings and all that um once it recognizes the network a little bit more better uh it'll allow you to get it to to scale how you want it but yeah, um, I highly recommend it. Check it out. Uh, this one does have the plugins installed as well as what I did on the, that this other laptop. And this being a newer laptop, you know, of course you need dongles and stuff. But with this one, if you want to hook up, um, it's only got two USB ports. So that's the only thing that sucks about this laptop. Um, doesn't allow you to run all this stuff, you know, with hubs and whatnot. So. Another thing that I forgot to mention was the fact that uh, um, any audio you get from this computer, you can send that through NDI out um, into the other system. Uh, you can kind of see there in the camera, um, you got the NDI source, what we added earlier, and it's sending the audio. So this is the audio coming in, and I'll, see, I'll show you that if I turn it down here, see the volume goes down. Um, another way to do it is if you were to have you know one of those older MacBooks a, that allows the the mic in to be switched to a line in uh, you can do that or if you have like another sound card or whatever it is maybe it's a, a Windows computer and allows you to change the software uh, or the, uh, the audio capture uh, into that you can do that um, NDI is what it's for it's an open source thing it works with multiple uh, platforms not not just like I said a Mac um, but you know, it's it's one of the, the newer things that I hope people learn and and get accustomed to it because it's uh, the newer way of how stuff is communicating without having to need you know like install a lot of extra stuff and all do it all this stuff. Um, a lot of programs are implementing it in their systems like kind of like uh, Mix Emergency is already doing that. OBS being you know a uh, uh, a newer open source software doesn't necessarily, you know, plan to jump on it. They rely on other people to do it, and they've done it. And third-party plugins, which are free, <laughs> do it. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Please like, share, subscribe this video, and I guess we'll leave it with that. All right, take care and be safe. Peace.